think in the inaugural session and also uh, from Dina's presentation, we have been hearing about a number of concepts like inclusive and sustainable growth, uh, the tension between water, energy, and land. Uh, how do we really have a, a policy if, in the context of which we can resolve these tensions? Uh, now, uh, for, for me, the responsibility was that in the context of uh, a developing country like Bangladesh, uh, taking a case study, how do we really go on uh, to address uh, this tension? So that is the uh, focus of my discussion. I come from Bangladesh, and uh, uh, I will try to uh, share with you the experience of Bangladesh and, and the challenge that Bangladesh faces in terms of using its natural resource. Um, one of the major resources being the uh, exploitation of the coal resources. Um, in the current context, it has become a major political and, and social issue as well. So in the context of the EIB 2012, I think this fits in very well as regards the challenges that particularly developing countries, and Bangladesh, as you know, is one of the least developed countries, um, uh, faces in terms of uh, uh, designing future policies uh, in the context of uh, sustainable growth, uh, but at the same time uh, resolving the tension between growth and, and sustainable growth. So um, this is uh, the very briefly because I have only 10 minutes. Uh, so uh, what I will uh, share with you is some of the uh, backgrounds that, uh, with regard to the exploitation of uh, uh, resources for energy production in Bangladesh, the current situation. Uh, and uh, basically, I will try to share with you uh, the, the tensions that is emerging in Bangladesh in terms of exploiting the coal resources which are formidable. Um, now, this is the uh, situation with regard to uh, access to energy in Bangladesh. Uh, it's equivalent to 175 kg equivalent of oil, which is one of the lowest in the, in the world. Even in South Asia, with uh, regard to uh, access to electricity, which is uh, only 207 kilowatt hours uh, annually, it is it's one of the one of the lowest. Uh, only 55 percent of the households have electricity uh, access to electricity, not uh, to the extent that they declare it because there are frequent power shortages as well. Uh, the current demand is about 5,500 uh, megawatt, but as you know, as a economic students of economics, economics, we know that it's, uh, it doesn't include the latent uh, uh, demand. It is it's only the real demand that we have, which we can take from the power shortage that, that is there. But the supply is only about up to 4,200 megawatt. So there is a demand supply here. But if we look at the, the future projections of, of, uh, of uh, electricity demand, the elasticity being, uh, with regard to the GDP being 1.67% for every percentage growth in GDP, you would require 1.67% growth in the energy consumption. So this is the uh, future um, demand for energy that, that, that we have. Uh, um, by 2021, we'll be needing 42,000 megawatts, and the current production is only 4,200 megawatts. So that is the challenge that we have. Now, at present, the, the uh, production of uh, energy is mainly met by, by gas resources. But gas resources have started to deplete, as was projected from 2011. So we have to go for diversification. Till now, hybrid electricity is only 4.7%, and, uh, and uh, coal uh, resource is uh, from one of the uh, mining areas is 4.7%. But the rest now is increasing. It is the finest soil and the and the diesel, which is uh, which is uh, 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 which are the major major sources. Now, uh, because of the shortage in the in the electricity, the government is being uh, now forced to resolve the issue. What they are doing, they are now going for very expensive furnace and diesel diesel oil based uh, options. Uh, the subsidy burden and the, the fiscal burden of the subsidy is increasing because we don't have fuel. We have to import it, and the fuel prices are going up as you know. So. Uh, government is a monopoly importer. It is importing, selling to the uh, independent power producers and the and the um, uh, 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 and the quick rental plants at subsidized rate. Then, when they are producing, the government is buying at market rate and then selling at subsidized rate to the consumer. So, this double subsidy is creating a major unsustainable burden, fiscal burden on the economy. Um, uh, but um, given that we have 
coal resources. The government's plan is to go for mainly coal-based production because, as I said, um, uh, the supply of gas is uh, depleting. So, so, so up, after 2014, to go for mainly coal-based. But how do how do uh, we go for the coal-based? That is that has become a major major problem in Bangladesh. Now we have five major mining uh, mine uh, coal reserves with a total uh, reserve of about 3,300 million tons. Very good uh, in, in, in content, very high quality. And uh, till now, the in situ the, 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 the which can be explored is about 2,250, because the fifth one is, is quite below the ground. And given the current technology, we cannot ex explore it as of now. Um, there is only one mine which is, uh, which is producing 250 uh, megawatt. But the major uh, mining possibilities are, are, uh, we, uh, are not being explore, exploited as of now. Um, why? Because it is very difficult. Um, the, 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 the coal resources are, are not very much below the ground, but, but between the upper soil and the coal, it is, uh, the strata is, is a very heavily water content. And, uh, and so that becomes a major problem for, uh, for, for any mining, both in terms of open mining and in terms of uh, underground mining. And uh, also, uh, uh, it is in an area of very highly densely populated area. You know, the average uh, density, population density in Bangladesh is about 1,200 people per square kilometer. So, uh, so uh, and, and, and the land which is over the coal reserves is, is very fertile land. It's uh, two to three crops every year. So, how do you really go into exploiting in that context? So, there are a lot of tensions in the area. Uh, people have been uh, very much reluctant to to um, to allow the government to explore this. Uh, so how do you manage um, in an area where where because if you uh, explore through open method, for example, so there is this tension between how do you manage the water which will be used. It, it will contaminate the surrounding rivers and water reservoirs. Uh, the land which is very fertile. Uh, and also the environmental implications of, of coal mining. Uh, a lot of resettlement will be required, but as I said, the people are not ready to, to go for resettlement, etc. And there have been a lot of uh, public protest. People have been killed also when one of the areas was leased out to uh, a foreign foreign farm. So uh, we are trying, the, thing, the coal policy is, is now in its seventh draft because the government is not being able to uh, really, how really uh, to, to have a coal policy which would be acceptable to the people, to be environmentally sustainable, can address the tension between uh, water, energy, land, and also people's uh, social, social interest. So from being part of the solution to the energy problem, it has become part of the problem. You know, uh, from being part of the solution, it has become part of the problem. So that's uh, how uh, it is, it is uh, it's there. Now the focus of the case study will be, you know, will be to, to study the this, this linkage uh, between water, energy, and and land. Uh, what are the tensions emerging? Uh, how can we resolve them? For example, if it is open cut method, we can extract 90 percent of the resources. If it is underground, uh, it is only 20 to 25 percent. Uh, and if, uh, so you can keep the the land above. Uh, fertile land and go for underground, but then you can explore only up to 20 to 25 percent uh, of the resources. Uh, can you uh, have a policy where you can go for open pit mining, extract the 90 percent, and make the local people shareholders of, of, of the resources? So that could be one area of you know, looking at. The other area is, of course, even if we go for uh, open pit method or underground method. Uh, coal is, uh, uh, from the perspective of environment and, and emission, is, is not, a, uh, not an environment friendly uh, 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 energy resource. So uh, is it better that we keep it over there? Then how do we meet the energy resources? Uh, it's a global commons. Is there any uh, opportunity that uh, because we will not be emitting uh, carbon, there will be global initiatives to 
uh, to, to allow Bangladesh not to go for exploring uh, coal resources at all. Uh, so is that a viable uh, option? So uh, uh, what I will do in my case study is not to provide any solution which uh, I was a member of the coal policy drafting committee <laughs> and we came up with the seventh draft uh, which also the government is sitting on it for the last two years. So I will not <laughs> venture into uh, into providing any solutions, but I will uh, I will bring up the context the, the con in the context of the tensions which a developing country, the least developed country like Bangladesh faces in terms of exploiting this type of non-renewable energy and whether we can have some some op some uh, we can think about some options where we can uh, attack this problem. So I will. Uh, what I will try to do in the context of our case study is to uh, really uh, uh, bring out the tensions and the possible solutions, but as I said, there cannot be, and at least <laughs> maybe uh, we can discuss about it, uh, what we, if there is any unique solution. Uh, so I will not go into that, but I will bring, uh, try to bring out the tension between this, uh, the, the exploitation of the coal resources in the context of the report. Which is uh, which will focus on inclusive and sustainable growth, and also the water environment and the land nexus, which is there, and um, contextualize this this uh, in the context of uh, exploitation of the coal resources in, in Bangladesh. So that's what uh, I will try to do, and I will look forward to your suggestions. Thank you.